happy first day of school. I'm so excited. My hair is super curly. It will fall because I broke my hairspray. The top thing like came off and I don't know where it went. So um, no hairspray. So I called them real tight because I know they're going to fall out. But I ordered Starbucks first day. You know, I get to get some Starbucks. So I'm going to pick that up on my way. And then I'm just packing my lunch right now. I already did it yesterday. Let's see, future or past me was thinking about future me yesterday. And you guys know, I'm just going to bring some chicken nuggets. And then I have some ketchup. And I'll bring a banana. <laughs> So yeah, I'm so excited. We have a two hour delay today, so it's gonna be a little bit of a funky day. Um, we have a two hour delay because of the hurricane that came through, or tropical storm it was when it hit us. So yeah, they gave that, we were supposed to start yesterday, but they gave us off yesterday because of the storm. And then a two hour delay today. So I'm not gonna complain about the two hour delay, but it is throwing off our schedule. It's making it quite crazy. There's really no time to go over procedures before we have to go to recess, lunch, and related arts, so. All right, guys, it is the end of the first day of school. Sorry, I just washed my face and took my makeup off and I just put on moisturizer. So that's why my face looks a little glowy. It's from the moisturizer. <laughs> But I was sweating before. I was sweating all day, you guys. I think it's those school t-shirts. They make me sweat. Every time I wear them, I'm like dripping sweat. And also it was the first day of school, so I was like nervous and whatever. So I'll give you a quick recap because I absolutely failed today at recording. Because again, first day and uh, first day in kindergarten where I absolutely did not have any time to do literally anything. I didn't even eat lunch. I didn't even take attendance until four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> oopsies but i will give you a recap on the day so the kiddos actually we had a two hour delay today because of the the tropical storm that came by they let them in a little bit earlier than usual and i was just like okay it's go time and so the kiddos just came right in it took a little bit for them to get there with the parents and things like that but it was really good so they came in they found their little cubby with their name on it and then they sat in their seats and they started doing um like a little kindergarten coloring sheet and i wasn't going to do a coloring sheet but i wound up doing it and it worked out really nice they were pretty calm which was good and they were i had like little music playing in the background which they were loving um and it kept them nice and quiet and then it was time to call them to the carpet pretty much and then go over routines because directly after that we had to go to lunch recess and then related arts like they were all back to back because of the schedule of the half day so it was quick procedures hallway routines things like that and then we went to all of those things on my planning i went through their supplies me and my um, ia went through their supplies and tried to like organize and make sense of everything. And then uh, what else happened? Then they came back, we did actual procedures. So we walked all around the class, all around the school. And then I had them do their um, morning routine so that when they come in on Monday, they at least know a little bit of what to do, like putting their folders in the bin to be checked and then sitting down at their seats, blah, blah, blah. So we did that. And they all did really good with that. They were so cute. I'm like, okay, put on your backpacks and stand by the door <laughs> and act like you're coming into school. And it was just really funny. They had a blast with it. They did good. Um, and then we went over a couple more bathroom procedures, things like that. And then uh, I keep saying, and then <laughs> what did we do after we, oh, we did first day jitters. So I read the book and then they did their activity about how they felt on the first day of school. And it was so cute. I'm going to hang them up outside. What is happening here? This is like the scar from the cut I had. And now it looks like I have another scar over here. Um, so they did that. I'm going to hang those up outside on the bulletin board. They came out so cute. And then what else? And then, oh, we drank our jitter juice, of course. I didn't get to hype it up as much as I wanted to because we were running out of time so bad. Like, there was no time to do anything today because you have to model everything you do so it takes so ridiculously long <laughs> and then after that we did the first day of kindergarten crowns which were so fun i pre-cut them because i knew that we were not gonna have time for them to cut me modeling and everything like that no 
No, it was just, there was no way. So I'm thankful that I realized to pre-cut them. And then I just went and they didn't even glue either. I went around and glued them on. And then me and my aide went around and like put the sentence strips and like stapled the sentence strip in the back to fit their head. Because there was no absolutely no way that that was going to happen. Um, them cutting and gluing. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Um, but kindergarten is definitely its own breed. It's kind of like, it's not that they don't know anything, <laughs> but they like kind of don't <laughs> like that sounds so mean and whatever, but, and like a lot of them have gone to pre-K or a lot of them have been in daycare where there's like a structure or a semi-structure and they understand like most of the rules. The calling out and the blurting, it's wicked in kindergarten. I'm not used to that. I'm used to like blurting, like students blurt all the time. I am not used to them not knowing how to raise their hands. And of course that's my job to teach them. I will definitely be continuing that because we obviously talked about it today and it is like a work in progress. That is one thing that they are really struggling with and i know it's the first day of school their kindergarten they're going to struggle with that i'm not expecting them to be picture perfect on day one but i can already tell that that's going to take a lot of time and i know it is because again kindergarten but it is so different from teaching first grade and i taught fourth grade for a little bit it's like crazy different to me that's like the only thing that's like really stood out to me routine wise that i'm like oh we need to really really you know work on this part um but other than that they did pretty good when we were done with our crowns we did our dismissal routines and it was a little bit crazy because i had to pass out their folders and then some of them got a piece of paper i mean it was fine like we had plenty of time and it actually wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be they were actually pretty quiet during dismissal which was great and i played coco melon when they were all sitting on the um carpet and you guys I love Coco Melon because the kids like they're they think that they're too old for Coco Melon, and I'm like I hype it up. I'm like you guys, I love Coco Melon. You don't like Coco Melon? <laughs> it's like so absurd. But they think they're like it's baby, and like I get it. But it's so like educational, and their words like it follows the words when they're singing the songs and things like that. So they sat. I don't care how much they tell you they don't love Coco Melon. They sat there and they watched that thing. They watched Coco Melon. It was actually impressive. I was like, it gets them every time. The first time I taught kindergarten, got them, got them. My first graders loved it in the beginning of the year. And then as the year went on, they were, they were like, okay, this is really not good. <laughs> this is like really a baby show, which I understood then. But the kindergartners, I'm like, you guys, you're playing hard to get. You guys love this show. Um, and it's like songs. How could you not love to sing along? <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was, it was really, it was a good day. I'm going to say it was a good day and I'm smiling and <laughs> I could just think back to last year. If you guys watched me last year, I'm so sorry. Like <laughs> I was miserable. My class was a rough class and it was a very hard time. I'm not even going to pretend and I watched back those videos. I, I'm pretty sure it was that time. I watched back those videos and I was like, like, wow, that was rough to watch. And I was actually talking to my husband the other day and he was like, he's like, you just seem in like a better mindset. And then we were also talking about like how I would come home every day last year and I would just like sit at the dinner table and just spew about like everything that was just crazy that day. And I, if you know me, you know, I love my job. I never want to like complain or whatever. Like I love teaching, but last year was rough. So to come back from this first day, I'm like, this is what it's supposed to feel like. It's, you know, you sometimes you just get in that funk and like that class that maybe you don't, I mean like we meshed well. I love those kids. I saw so many of them today to make my heart so happy. I love those kids. Those kids have like, touched my heart in a way that no other class has. I love those freaking kids, but they gave me a run for my money last year and I'm just gonna leave it at that. They gave me a run for my money. And to come home today and just like be smiling is 
honestly amazing to me. And I know it's not going to be all rainbows and butterflies throughout the whole year. I'm well aware. But it just feels good to just see the potential and not be so negative. And I told myself I was going in with a better mindset. And I went in with a good mindset last year, but it quickly faded away when the classroom dynamic happened with all of the students and it just was a crazy time so i'm thankful for this class again like i said i know it's not gonna be rainbows and butterflies but we can at least pretend and try for rainbows and butterflies so that was what we did today i came home and i got some wendy's as you can see my cup i was like you know what i'm getting some bad food for me i got some wendy's i got a cheeseburger french fries a frosty mm-hmm Mm -hmm. my feet are killing me i wore my croc sandals today and generally they're pretty comfy but for some reason they like ate up my feet today i guess because i was walking like all day i didn't sit once so my feet are killing me i took some tylenol because my body is aching i'm not used to this i always forget but it's all good i didn't eat my lunch like i said because crazy we had to stay with our students for lunch today we do generally have um, like unencumbered lunch, but today we did have to stay with them and they did really good during lunch I explained to them why it was important to eat quietly so that you can eat your food enjoy your food And then you may whisper to the person next to you. That's how my school does it That's not a me thing. That's a school thing But I do enjoy it because it does make them eat and they they literally sat there They ate and then I said, okay You can whisper if you want to the person next to you and then some of them whispered some of them were still eating So I was like, you know what? I will take it and then, I don't know, recess was fine. Recess was pretty quick though, I will say. We normally have two recesses, recesses, but since we were on a delay, we only did one today and it was pretty quick. But the day just went by so fast. The kids really didn't ask me like, when are we going to recess? When are we going to lunch? Like, I want to go home. Maybe there was one student that said, is it almost time to go? And I was, I was honestly pleasantly surprised at how many students were just embracing kindergarten. I didn't have one crier. Again, I had a couple students absent, so who knows what it'll bring on Monday, but I didn't have any crying students. Um, the parents were very nice. They came in, they dropped their kids off. Some of them walked in with them, you know, and were hanging around for a minute, but nothing like crazy or like overbearing or anything. They came in, you know, some of them took their little pictures. Some of them took their pictures at their seats. These kids got right to work. It was amazing my aide was so helpful today she was putting away all the supplies she truly was wonderful today and yeah i'm also like not used to having an aide so i don't know like what like they do versus what i do really like in terms of like recess or walking them to and from specials but i especially stayed with them today because i wanted to make sure that they were on their routines so i did a lot of that today but it was genuinely a great day I am up to 23 students though, 23. Again, like I said, five of them were absent today. I think I had 17, so six were absent today. Again, I don't know how it's gonna be on Monday because all 23 can show up and it can totally change the dynamic. I'm hoping that it doesn't, but it was a great day. Yes, I'm up to 23 students. I started off with 14. I'm hoping I don't get any more, but I know that I will. <laughs> because it's the beginning of the year. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Again, I'm gonna make this its own video. So next week I will do a week long of the first full week of school. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I certainly had a great day. We will see what Monday brings. I'll bring you along and show you everything that we're doing. But that was what we did today on the first day. And it was great. I have a good group. They have good hearts. I can already tell. I was so excited to see my kids from last year today. They really made my heart happy. And they look so grown up. I'm like, you guys are second graders. They were so excited to see me too. And some of them like, not that you forget that they're in your class, but like you, you think about the certain kids and I don't know. It was just great. Anyways, I'm going to go. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.